Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 23 chat. Oh hi, it's episode 9. What are you wearing? Well, I'm wearing a beautiful custom jersey from Team wow. Jerseys Pro. Where can I get one? Well, if you want to make your own custom jersey, uh, you can just follow the link below. Oh. And you'll even get a 10% discount if you use our code MADROSD. So how about that? It's a lot of fun. I'm obsessed with this already. Fun times. You don't have to get Mad Rose D on the phone. No, you can you can customize your own jersey however you want. It doesn't even have to be a baseball jersey. They Sweet. have all different types of sports. Oh. But anyway. Well <laughs> <laughs> this video is not sponsored by the way. This is just no. I was gifted this and then we have a discount code. So all right. All right. Well last time <laughs> Brent, this seems like a hundred years ago. Brent and Brittany Doesn't it though? were on the block. Yes. And Brittany is melting down like a damn ice cream cone in the middle of Jones freaking beach. It, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just like a few tears. It was like full on sobbing. sobbing. The Sob. sobbing. Brittany has not stopped talking all week about how upset she was about Xavier's nomination speech. Girl, you gotta save that for like your grandparents' funeral or something. It's too That's much. That's not for getting on the block. It's too much. And Xavier has explained to her why she's up there next to Brent. It's to keep up this ruse that Brittany is the target so that Brent will not freak out and do crazy stuff this week. I <laughs> never, ever thought that this was gonna work. Well, it's working. You uh, overestimated Brent. <laughs> I guess I did. Yeah. Uh, his erot erotic or his sporadic. No, you perceived his dumbness. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll get there. <laughs> All right. So Aza's pissed because if you remember, Aza went to Xavier, Xavier and said, look, I can't deal. I can't deal with this. Yeah. Put me up. If you need a pawn, don't put up Brittany put me up instead. And Xavier was like, uh, no. <laughs> no. He's not going to risk putting up a member of the cookout alliance. No so, way. So now that she's seen his plan come to fruition and Brittany is melting, she is like, I cannot sop up the pieces here. <laughs> this is too much. Yeah. Too much. Even though Brent knows he's the target. He's saying <laughs> he knows he's the target, but he feels like he has the votes to stay. Because he's got that mafia alliance with the queens and the kings. And he's got something going with Alyssa. So he feels like he's going to be good. Well, okay. So Xavier is feeling bad. So he wants to talk to Brittini. Mm -hmm. And he tells her, you're just a pawn. You know, um, don't sweat it out. Just stay calm. Yeah. And <laughs> she's riding a gun for the veto. <laughs> I gotta win that veto now, that's all I gotta do. And it just kills me because every time she gets fired up for a comp, it's like two seconds into the comp, she just craps out. And she's like, oh, well, I did my best. It makes me so sad. All right, well. She's really good at like pumping herself up though before these competitions. You would think that she was gonna seal the deal, but. All right, so Hannah says, I can't get, wait to get rid of Brent because he's a douche. Yeah, I mean, I've heard her say multiple times how uncomfortable she feels around him, which just bums me out because there's, like, not liking someone and then there's, like, feeling uncomfortable around them. I could totally see it. I feel bad that she's in this situation. Yeah, her and everyone else. Mm. Even the guys. Yeah. All right, so... Um, I mean, his own team threw multiple competitions so that he could go this week. That's pretty bad. It says a lot. That's pretty bad. All right, so Z Xavier meets with Brent. Mm -hmm. I've still got this total block against Xavier. It's going to take a it's, while. To me, it's Xavier, but it's apparently Xavier. Well, that's like last season of BB Can with uh, Rohan, and we were so used to saying Rohan, Rohan from... Lord of the Rings, yeah. and now I say it Rohan because I get all mixed up. <laughs> oh. All right, so Z Xavier, <laughs> Xavier meets with Xavier. Brent. Xavier. I'm from Queens, you know? All right. He, they meet. Mm -hmm. And Brent says, 
hey, I'm not dumb. I'm highly intelligent. <laughs> I'm not as dumb as my body perceives. I've never and, heard okay, that phrase before. Xavier, the lawyer, is just like, <laughs> he must whatever be you dying, say, man. Whatever, whatever you so. say. <sighs> hey, I know I got the numbers to stay, so whatever. Cool, right? <laughs> sure you do. This is, it just, it kills me how freaking arrogant yeah. and full of himself. The ego's out of control. How socially unaware. How douchey yeah. this whole situation is. I mean, you could go on and on. You could. And I probably will. All right, so... Now it's Oz's turn to meet with Xavier. She wants an explanation. And Xavier feels really bad because he did this to Brittany. He, even before, was like, I don't want to have to put up Brittany because I know she's going to cry and that's going to be really difficult. And it's hitting him hard. I mean, he seems like a good guy. He seems like a great guy. Yeah. And so Oz was like, all right, fine. I'm surprised Oz wasn't like, uh, I told you so. Mm. I told you this was going to happen. Yeah. Well, she's had lots to say behind Xavier's back about yeah. the whole nomination situation this week. Uh, so, Aza is meeting with Tiffany now. Uh-oh. Because when they played the wild card, Derek X and Tiffany... They both ganged up on Britney. They did. And Aza wants to know, WTF is going on? Why did you come out my team my teammate like that? Right. Not cool. No. So, um, they just, uh... <laughs> Tiffany is trying to explain to her again why Brittany needed to be on the block this yeah. week against Brent. And Aza is just not taking this in and accepting it. Um, See, the thing about Aza is Aza is an honest person. She seems very sweet. She's and a moral person. Yes. And that's not the best way all the time. You gotta leave that at the door for a yeah. game like this. So I, I just um, <laughs> Tiffany's a conniver. <laughs> well, she said she <laughs> Tiffany is a logical player, and Aza is an emotional player. Yes. So these two just clash. They don't see eye to eye on a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So they're not in a good place right now. I mean, I think I. They didn't show it, but I'm pretty sure they hugged each other. Yeah, after I mean, this. they made up somewhat, but. They're but still not 100% made up. I'm telling you, in real time, there's still some drama. Like, there was some drama this morning, so. <laughs> uh, and then Aza. No, I'm sorry. Then Tiffany reports back to Xavier and is like, uh, this is not working out. I can't work with her. I can't no. talk to her. Like, she's still going to work with her in the cookout, but yeah. she's keeping her distance. I mean, they're agreeing to disagree for the moment. Yeah. All right. Oh, who's ready for a showman's alert? <laughs> uh, Mr. Wait. and Mrs. We're not a showman's. Let me get this blanket so we can make out underneath it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just like <laughs> so disrespectful to do that in the HOH's bed. And it's really sad, too, because Xavier definitely has a crush on Alyssa. Oh. That's so sad. But yeah, they were bold enough to make out in the HOH's bed, and then, whoa, what do you know? The HOH walks into his own room, and he catches them. And that was not the only time that happened. That happened another time. And They I, clearly didn't learn their lesson, and they have the audacity <laughs> uh, yeah. to be like, we're not in a showman. It's ridiculous that people are always like grouping us together. And yes, I said audacity. If you guys are not BB Can fans, then I'm just going to sound like really dumb and like i'm i'm not as dumb as my body perceives i thought you were <laughs> well you know what time it is it's time to pick players for the veto yay and i picked house guest choice oh you must be xavier i am and i'm picking christian because he gives zero f's and he'll do whatever i tell him to do i mean the they're veto. teammates so all right your together. turn all right your turn brent, brent is up he said, I hope it's Derek X. And who is... Oh, it's Derek F. F. <laughs> and Brittany's like, score for me because... Yeah. All I need's Aza. Brit, uh, Derek F would use the veto on Brittany. So right. he says. And then Brittany's like, all right, give me Aza. 
Whitney. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, do you think Derek F. would have actually used the veto on uh, Brittini? I would have been really curious to watch this play out because if he did, that would put Xavier in a very tough mm-hmm. spot. He didn't have a lot of options left right. to nominate as replacement. I'm going to say he wouldn't. And I felt like he said he was comfortable saying that because he knew there was no way in hell he was going to win it. That is definitely a factor there. He might not have actually said that out loud. Right, right, you right. Know, but, but he knew in his heart, like, I'm not going to win this. No. It's possible. <laughs> All right, so Xavier and Hannah, what's going on? They're having a chat. Xavier says she's a friend of the cookout. Yeah, I mean, they keep calling her, like, an honorary member or, like, somebody they're looking out for. How is she not included in the cookout? She wasn't invited to the cookout. It makes me very sad that she's not, like, a full member You know what we mean. You know what we mean. Okay. I don't get it. It's like last season all over again. Yeah, I mean, Kevin got left out Mm -hmm. of the alliance with, uh... Bailey, Davon, David. That's right. It's it's upsetting. David didn't even want to be in that alliance. Mm, true. All right, so it's POV comp time, and you know what it is, kids. It's Bowl Arena. Whoa. I this one is called, I know, right? It's always a good time. This one is called Room Key Rumble. All right, so everybody's in their tutus. And, uh, the tutus. The tutus, yes. <laughs> The first uh, person in each face-off to knock down the correct numbers Mm -hmm. of the rager room... Well, you have to leave the rager room number up. You have to knock down the non-essential numbers. Yeah. So the gate only stays down to 15 seconds after you do your little twirlies. You gotta do 15 turns. Right. Oof. Who was was bad at counting? Brent. Brent. (laughs) Yeah, so they did a random draw, Yeah, and Brittany was up first, and she chose to go up against Brent, because she was like, let's just settle this right here and right now. How many times did Brent not do enough turns and make it all the way to the bowling alley through the couches before he realized that the gate wasn't down? I, yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone struggle so much. With this competition. Because, yeah. I mean, we've seen people dizzy and they're like, oh, bleh, Yeah, but like Brent was flopping around like a fish. It was <laughs> insane. He was puking his guts out, I too. was a little bit worried for him. I He could have broken his neck easily. I mean, when he flipped over those couches, come on. But he still managed to beat Brittany in that first <laughs> round. How is that possible? She was so fired up. Yikes. All right, so then uh, Xavier, he's up next, and he also chooses he chooses Brent. I mean, that's got to tell Brent he's definitely the target, right? But again, he acknowledges that he is Xavier's target, but he feels that he has the votes to stay. So yeah, Xavier's <laughs> like, I'm going to choose Brent, and again, Brent is really struggling with it. Flopping around like a fish, puking his brains out, but this time he lost. Yeah. So he's He's out. done. Dunzo. So now it's Big D's turn to choose, and he chooses Whitney to face off against. All right. He had a great start. Uh-huh. But then he he just couldn't. Well, Whitney was like, I don't want this. <laughs> she was terrible at knocking down the right numbers. Yeah, her accuracy was not very good. I mean... With the bowling part. I don't think she was planning on throwing it at first, but it it was just too much of a problem. So she was just like, well, I'll just let Big D win. Yeah. But it took forever because he couldn't do the twirlies too good. He was a slow twirler. Yeah. <laughs> like, really slow. Yeah. But he did end up getting the win, so Whitney was eliminated. Yeah. Too bad they didn't have, like, a time limit or something. Mm-hmm. All right, so then it was uh, Christian turn. versus Derek F. He says, I'm going to finish him off. Oh, boy. This is an easy mark because Derek F. did about one turn and then he was he like He stood done. there and watched. <laughs> so it that seems was... like a pretty easy win for Christian. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. it was down to Xavier and Christian. And so who cares? They're working together. They both have the same goal in mind here. Mm-hmm. So they're like, we're just going to have fun with it. 
Yeah, I think basically Xavier really just threw it to Christian, so he wouldn't yeah, I don't have all think, of the blood on his hands. I don't think Xavier wanted to win this one, because Brittany would have been like, please take me off. You said you were doing. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, Christian wins the power veto. Congrats. Right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so Brent, now Brent does not want the veto to be used, because he sees Brittany playing pool very loudly, like she usually is. But she's too happy. What's going on here? Is the veto going to be used on her? Brent was terrified that Brittany would come down and maybe, like, Derek X would go up. Ooh. And then people would have to choose between the two of them. And he's like, I don't know if I would still be here. But he feels, again, like he has the votes against Brittany. Is there anyone in the house that Brent would stay against? I don't think so. No. But he comes up with this plan... To try and make sure that the veto does not get used. Mm -hmm. So he tells his friends, Team his Queens, teams, yeah. go up to Xavier and tell him that if the veto is not used and the nominations right. stay the same, that you will vote me out. Right. Because he wants to make sure the veto is not used. And they're like, So everybody's okay, like, what? Yeah. What? Really? You, okay. So you want us to, to say that? <laughs> now, of course... Brent is like, but like, of course you're not, you're not gonna vote me out. We're just saying. Oh that. no 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 no. Um, they're gonna vote you out. So they went and told all of the Royal Flush Alliance about it. Kings, Queens, mm -hmm. Derek X was in on that, and um, they're all having a great time laughing about Brent. It's so sad. In a way, that part did feel sad. It's so sad. Yeah. So it's it's, it's time for the POV ceremony. And Christian doesn't use How can the veto. Be so close? And Brent is sitting there like, I did that. <laughs> and we again we missed Britney's rap speech. And you she know what know I rap. immediately thought of? What? Who is I am? Who do you think you are? I, I am. am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pete Weber, look it up. All right, so Britney And he's bowling. And he's ballerina. <laughs> uh Brittany is all like Oh my God, I can't wait for Brent to go, but just wait till I win that H.O.H. And oh, then Brittany. Brent says, oh my God, I can't wait for Brittany to go. And then I he's can see about, the blind side. Yeah, he's all zoom in close on Xavier's face because he's going to be shocked when Brittany goes. Uh, everybody knows you're the douche master. Okay, man. I just want to remind you too, because I saw this little reminder on Twitter the other day. Brent was the one in his preseason interview in his little mm -hmm. bio on CBS.com who was like, oh, I, they asked, like, what's your favorite Big Brother moment or whatever? And mm -hmm. he said, it's not one specific moment, but I just love a good blind side. When it's justified, right? That was him. He wrote that whole thing about how much he loves a blind side. Well, here you Oof. go. Here you go, douchey McDoucher. You're going to so get where your we're wish. At. <laughs> So I'm curious to see if this blind side is actually going to happen or if somebody's going to blow it or what. I mean, you never know. The votes could flip, but like. I don't think it's going to flip. Yeah. <laughs> Exit to the left. Oh, Xavier's <laughs> diary room was, was so well done. Uh, Brittany also did a. Uh, Her. And then she gave the finger at the end. That was a lot the, of fun. Too. The whole thing was the finger. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. How did how was Brittany so freaking loud and boisterous with this whole uh, Brent is going thing, and he never figured it out. <laughs> I know. It's wild. I'm sure you could hear Brittany from one end of that house to another. I mean, maybe he just heard all the crying and he was like, "Yup, I'm safe." But then he said she was too happy. I don't know. How is this possible? I can't even begin to try and logicize Brent's. <laughs> But is it Thinking. your body that perceives your uh, mind? Yeah. Mm. So, anyway. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. Check out the Jersey Place if you want to get a jersey. Link is in the info Team box. Team Jersey's Pro. Also, our Order cookbook, our cookbook is if out. If you want an air fryer cookbook, mm -hmm. that's pretty healthy. It's very healthy. It's 98% healthy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can't beat that. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. When the big blind side happens. Thanks for watching, and until then, much, much love. love.